If you like painting with acrylics, but not blending with acrylics because they take five seconds to dry, take a sponge and wipe the back of the canvas. It will keep the surface damp and you can paint longer without it drying as quickly. If you're like me and you have a million sketchbooks because you can't just commit to one, your pages are going to rub together and smudge around a lot. So you can take a giant binder clip and this will help to keep the pages together and stop from smudging. If your desk looks like a crime scene, that's fine, you're not alone. Take this plastic acrylic sheet, put it directly on a desk surface and it'll help you from ruining it further. Unless it's too late, in which case you need a new desk. If you're too lazy to look for the grey end on the Copic marker or you actually didn't know that it existed for a while, that's fine, stick a rubber band on the end and then you can just feel for it. If you're out of palettes because you never clean them, take a big foam cheap board and use that instead. If you've already ruined every drinking glass in your parents' house, you can take an empty water bottle, cut it in half and use it to clean your brushes. Added bonus, the ridges at the bottom help to clean your brushes. If your postal service likes to charge you $7 internationally shipping one little print because you put it in a pre-made cardboard envelope, you can instead do it yourself and put some cardboard in a greeting card envelope. Then it'll keep it rigid and they can only charge you for being a greeting card. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because it really does help me out when you guys thumbs video, videos up because it helps other people find them as well. So, because it's the new year, I really want to start featuring artwork because I know as an artist, getting your artwork seen is not always the easiest thing in the world. So every single week, starting next week, I want to start featuring one of your guys' pieces at the end of my video. So if you'd like to get in on that, follow me on either Instagram or Twitter and then use the hashtag FeatureMeChloeRose and I'll go through the hashtag each week and pick someone and put it at the end of the video. It's also a great opportunity for me to be able to see your artwork. So if you use the hashtag, I'll search through it and be able to see and like some of your work. So yeah, make sure you do that. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.